Hello, welcome to another tutorial. In this video, we'll be going over how to set your custom coordinate system for the needs of your project. So as you can see here, the current reference coordinate system is base, so we can change the flange center. So base and flange center are the preset ones on your ABOP software. And this TCB312, P1, these are all just custom coordinate systems that um, people have built based on the needs of your project. So let's say we want to build a new one today. And let's say we want the plane to be on this kind of uh, on the plane of this view. So let's go ahead and set the angles of our joints first. So uh, one simple uh, trick to set the angles of your joints, you can just double click on this panel here. And let's just say we want to set joint 1 to 0, joint 2 to 0, joint 3 to 90, joint 4 to 90, and joint 6 to 90 as well. There we go. So now that we're on this plane, let's set our coordinate system now. So let's go ahead and go to settings, robot, coordinate calibration, click on a new row, give your new coordinate a name, say test. And the tool name that we're using, let's just say we're using the flange center as our tool. Now there are many methods to calibrate our uh, coordinate system. X O Y, Y O Z, and a variety. So what X O Y means is we always need three point to you know, calibrate our coordinate system. Point one is origin in this case. Point two is any point on the X axis, and point three is any one on the positive Y axis. And for example, something like Y O Y X. What this means is point one is the origin, point two is any point along the positive Y axis, and point three is any point on the first quadrant of the Y O X plane, which is this point here. So for, um, for today, let's just go ahead and do the X, O, Y plane, uh, X, O, Y coordinate uh, calibration method. So to do so, we go ahead and click calibration mode. Let's just go ahead and set our first point, set point. And this point, if, uh, as I mentioned, this will just be the origin. So let's just say we want to set it at this point here, confirm. Point two, now this point will be on the positive X axis of our coordinate system. Let's go ahead and set point. So positive um, x-axis, let's just say we want it to be this horizontal direction going to the right here. So let's change our reference coordinate system. So let's set our reference coordinate system currently to flange center. right? So the red, ax red arrow is actually the x-axis of the flange center. Green arrow is the y-axis of the flange center. Because we want our new x-axis of the coordinate system to be on, you know, on this right direction here. So let's go in the negative y direction of our flange center co reference coordinate system. Okay, so that's our first point. So that's a point on our X positive axis. Any point on the Y positive axis. So the easiest way to do so, let's move back to our first origin point first. And once we have that, we want our positive Y axis to be go going up this way. We can directly just move our robot uh, up this way and it will be there. So let's click, go ahead to point three again, set point. So again, um, we want to go be going up. So and then in the reference flange center reference coordinate, this is actually the positive x direction. So we can just click positive x, confirm, and there we go. So now we have calibrated our coordinate system. We can go ahead and click add. So let's go test this out. So now, if we change, so as you can see here, in our flange center coordinate system, right, x direction is, the negative x direction is down, y is left and right, right? So let's change our reference coordinate system to test. Let's see what happens now. Now, if we want to go in the x direction, it will be going to the right, as we just said it. If we want to go in the y direction, it will be going up, right? And no matter how we turn these joints, let's say we can turn these joints as much as we want. Uh, the reference coordinate system will stay the same. All right, let's just say we distort uh, the robot. And, and it, once we uh, try to go in the positive x direction, it will still be to the right. Y direction, it will still be up and down. Is that direction, it will be in and out of the page. And there you go. That's all you need to know to set up your own custom coordinate systems for the needs of your project.